Okay, in this video, I'm going to do the last three on your page. So we have page 834, number 15 this time. Number 15 says a bus leaves at 9 a.m. with a group of tourists. They travel 350 kilometers before they stop for lunch. Then they travel an additional 250 kilometers until the end of their trip at 3 p.m. What is the average speed? So we're looking for speed again. And remember, speed is distance over time. I know I'm going to use that equation because they don't give me anything having to do with acceleration. So you just have to calculate a little bit of things here, but it's not very hard at all. So a bus leaves at 9 a.m. and they stop at 3 p.m. So the time is between 9 and 3. Use your fingers if you need to count. So 9 to 10 is 1 hour, 10 to 11 is another hour, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. So that is 6 hours is the time. Then we have to figure out how far they went, the distance. The distance they went before lunch was 350 kilometers, and after lunch then they went 250 kilometers. So 350 plus 250 is 600 kilometers. Okay. So in order to calculate this, we're just going to plug in. So distance is 600 kilometers. Time is 6 hours. So I can do that in my head. I don't know about you. That is 100 kilometers per hour. Okay. We're going to move down to 17 now. says it takes a car one minute to go from rest to 30 meters per second. What is the acceleration of the car? Now this time they're looking for acceleration. And if I'm looking for acceleration, I have to use the acceleration equation. So I need VF, VI, and T. So it takes the car one minute, so the time is one minute. The car is going from rest, so the VI is zero. And the car is going to 30 meters per second. Okay. So, one thing to notice here is that, see these are meters per second. This is minutes. We have to convert minutes to seconds so that everything cancels out properly. So, we have VF, which is 30 meters per second minus 0 divided by 60 seconds. So, our acceleration is 0.5 meters per second squared. Okay. Last one, number 21. So, 21 says, you are in a car traveling an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How long will it take to travel 950 kilometers per hour? So this time they're looking for time. How long will it take? Now, when you're looking for time, you could use either equation. So I need to read this properly and make sure I got it exactly right. So they give me an average speed. So average speed is not what we use in the velocity equation. So we're going to have to use our speed equation. And we know the total trip took 240 kilometers and kilometers is distance. So we're trying to find time. Speed is distance over time. Time and speed switch spots. So time is distance over speed. So we have 240 kilometers over 60 kilometers per hour. The kilometers cancel out, the hours go up. So 240 divided by 60 is 4 hours. Okay. 